Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, so, hey. Um, I'm working on creating a font. Um, and I just thought I'd take you guys through the process. Um, so basically what I did is, you know, I thought to myself, this is kind of like my final for my print uh, making class. And we can basically do whatever we want. And as a future graphic designer, hopefully, um, we make fonts and that's super cool. And I've always seen people do it, but I've never tried it. So as a kid, I always like would do like drippy, like graffiti, like cool, like letters, like on my papers, like during school or whatever. So I thought to myself, you know what? I'm gonna make a drippy font. I know there's a billion of them. It's nothing new, but I just like didn't look at anything. I just did it for fun. Um, and I did it in my sketchbook. After I did it in my sketchbook, I just like, you know, sketched them all out. I took a black Posca marker, I filled it in just so that when I took a picture of it, Photoshop would process it easily. Um, so I took a picture of my filled in bubble letters. I put it into Photoshop. I used the magic wand tool and selected just the white background and deleted it. Um, not that I, I guess, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so I just deleted it. And then what I did was I just like had them spaced when I drew them. So I individually selected each letter and moved it together so that it looked like this. So it just like came all together instead of like all spaced out. Um, and now, so it'd be a lot easier if I had access to the print studio because then I wouldn't have to do this as a stencil and I could just do it on the computer and put it on my screen and print it and it'd be so easy, but I don't have access to it because I'm in Utah. Um, so we're doing it the old fashioned way. So now I'm individually cutting out each letter um, so that when I, you know, print it, the ink will go through, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm just basically making a stencil. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna print like a color, just a simple color background. Maybe I'll kind of like mix two inks together. I don't really know what that'll do. Um, but I'm just gonna make a plain background and then I'm gonna print my alphabet and it's gonna be really cool. My teacher recommended that I, for like my final print, I like do a, a, a word. So instead of just having like an alphabet printed to do like a word in my font. And I thought about it, but I just really like the way this looks just as like a whole alphabet, like, you know, I don't know. It's probably just cause I'm artsy or whatever, but I see like setups like this on Pinterest a lot of like cool fonts. So that's what we're doing. Um, so I'm gonna continue giving myself arthritis. And then I don't know if it'll be today or maybe tomorrow, but when I do the printing process, I will definitely show you guys what I'm talking about and how I do it. So we'll be back. Okay, so I'm gonna start the printing process. Um, so because I moved, I'm missing some things. Um, I literally cannot find where my clamps are for my um, screen, which is what keeps it in place and makes everything straight. So we're gonna wing it um, and hope I can just line it up. <laughs> So, um, what I've done is I also don't have something hard, like, or flat to screen print on. So I just have this piece of art I did, and so I'm just using the back of it because it's just smooth, um, and thick that I can, you know, print on easily. And then I put, I pulled out my piece of paper. I just used mixed media paper. I, um, took them out of the notebook. I put my screen on and I kind of drew on my screen where I want my border to be. And then I taped it. So you can see the tape border. So that basically just makes it so that that's the only place where the ink can go through. Um, so it makes the border. Um, here are the inks I've already mixed. I have blue, I have red, um, I have black and yellow. I also have a tan color, but I'm not gonna be using it for this project. Um, I have finally finished cutting out all of my letters. It took forever. Um, so the plan is I, 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 we have a few pieces of paper. I'm gonna do a few colored backgrounds. I'm gonna do two blue ones. I'm gonna do just one red, one yellow, and I'm gonna be doing the font in black over, over these colors. So these are gonna be the background colors. Um, and so we're gonna try it. So I unfortunately am not gonna be able to film why I print because I don't have, I don't have a stand. I'm just broke girl status right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tilt this up 
<clears throat> and then I'm gonna pour my blue ink right here. And then I'm gonna take my squeegee. After I pour my blue ink right there, I'm gonna flood my screen. So what that means is I'm gonna pull the ink over the, all of the whole section without pressing too hard so that just the ink is covered over the whole area. And then after I do that, I'm going to push it down onto my paper so that it's touching the paper. And then I'm gonna go through with two hands and push down and push hard and pull. I'm pushing down and I'm pulling so that it goes through the screen, but that's gonna pull this. I don't know, I'll figure it out, I'll try. But anyways, pretending there's clamps, you just press hard. Um, you put it at like a 90 degree angle so that it pulls the ink through. And then we have a background. Um, this ink, I mean, anyone can do this at home. I got um, this canvas, it's, it's pretty small. I got it on Amazon for like 20 bucks. It came as a set with the, with the hinges and the screws that you need. Um, this is just Speedball um, screen printing ink. Um, it's fabric safe. I haven't screen printed on fabric before though. Um, so all you need is you can buy these. Um, I got these on Blick, but I think you can also find some on Amazon. And then you also need transparent base. Um, when you're mixing them together, you do about like, I don't know, it's kind of hard to say. I'd say like 75% of the transparent. And then you put 25% of like the ink color in there. Um, so before you mix it all together, you can do like, you know, if you mix some of this magenta and then you mix, you know, some black, you'd have like a really dark purple. So you can mix that together first on a, on a side, you know, piece of cardboard or whatever. You mix those together. You're like, that's a cute color. You pour the transparent base, a lot of it in a jar, and then you scrape up whatever color you made, put it in and mix it up. So that's all this is. Um, I got these at Michael's. They're plastic. So I'm going to try to do the backgrounds and we'll check back and see how it goes. Um, pray for me. So um, I took my jar of ink, I put it down. Um, you can use as much ink as you want because you can put the extra back in the jar. Um, so this is me flooding the screen. So I'm just gonna lightly, I'm just pulling it and that's okay, it didn't take it all. Um, so that means I can basically use more ink. I just don't have a lot more. Oh, shoot. Uh, let's hope I have enough. So let's try this again. Wow. I really need, I need to mix new ink. I need new ink. I'm gonna fix this and then be back with you. We have some kind of weird ink happening up here, but even if I go over it, it's not really going away. I don't think that's a problem. I don't really know. I'm not a professional. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower this down and I'm gonna print it and we're gonna see how it turns out. Okay, so here how it came out um, with the borders and everything. Um, it looks like it came out on the side a little bit, which means my boxing tape that I have as the borders wasn't tight enough. It went through. Um, but it's not the end of the world. I mean, you know, I don't mind the kind of textured background. It's supposed to be super smooth, but again, I'm not a professional. I have a weird setup, so um, I'll live. Um, but yeah, not bad. So this one turned out better, I think. I accidentally scratched it. Um, but it didn't have the weird funky thing on the side. Um, so what we're going to do with the extra ink, um, is we're just gonna scrape it up. Sorry, I'm trying to keep it stable. We're going to scrape it up with our squeegee and then just put it back in our ink bottle. All right. So I went ahead and I washed my screen. I retaped it. Um, you can leave the tape on while you wash it. So you don't have to retape it every time, but it just leaves ink in there and it's really hard to wash. Um, so I washed it, retaped it, um, I have my paper set up there with my guidelines of where I should put my paper every time, and now I'm gonna go ahead and pour the red ink over it, and then print. Alright, so these are the prints, the colors that we have, um, I really like the texture in them, I apologize, I know my lighting isn't that great, um, but I really do like the texture in them. Um, they're supposed to be super smooth, but I think it just adds a little bit of character. Um, so now we are on the last layer. This is the only one that kind of got a little bit messed up. All the other ones are actually really clean. 
Um, so now we're on the last layer. So what we're gonna do is we're going to place our colors down. We're going to um, place our cutout alphabet on top. And then we're gonna go ahead and print black over it. Um, what's gonna happen is after I print the black, this, cause there's so much paper with that's gonna, that's gonna have ink on it, it's gonna stick to the screen. So I'm just gonna be able to print all of them. Um, so we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so I went ahead, I flooded the screen. It's ready underneath. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand so you guys can see it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm going to lower it down. I'm gonna take my squeegee, put it at an angle, and I'm going to press down pretty hard and print. Hope that worked. So um, we're gonna lift this up and then I'm gonna put the cup underneath and then I'm going to peel off the print that's underneath. other pages I have and then we'll check back and look at all of them. Thanks so much for watching. Um, I did just finish a painting. So head over to Art by Alexis T if you want to check it out. Um, I'm super excited how they turned out. Um, that's my final project for my screen printing class and I hope you enjoyed.